Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, good morning. It's going to be hard to breathe today because smoke is back. We've had smoke, but we haven't been able to smell it much. Today, pretty strong. Heading over to look at the chickpeas this morning, decide if we have to desiccate them or if they're going to just dry on their own. I'm hoping they'll just dry on their own. We'll finish cutting spring wheat and then go cut those chickpeas and then go cut the durum. And that'd be a nice way to clean out the combines from the spring wheat to the durum because that's a contrasting class issue if you have spring wheat in your durum. So it might work out good. Or I might need to desiccate them today or tomorrow and then we come back and cut them in a week, which might be about the right time anyways. So let's go check them out and uh, get back to cutting spring wheat. See what I mean by the smoke? Like. It looks like we're in the trees in Missouri, looking at the Blue Mountains. Not really, but definitely is hazy. Chickpeas, oh man, I think they might take care of themselves within the next week. Sure are clean. Authority Assist, I think is what we pre-sprayed or put a free down on these, really holding nice. But, wow, what do we do? Supposed to be 90 this weekend. That might take care of them. Didn't work. Everybody's favorite. Okay, so. Hello? You know those people that like sing in a grain bin? Acapella singers and all? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, okay. See that cable dropping down, and that cable dropping down, and that cable dropping down. Let's get out of here. Get rid of the echo. Those are the moisture temperature grain sensor cables that were installed last year. Okay. They are too short in this bin, and the longer ones that they were supposed to get us haven't come yet. So I'm anchoring them down because when the grain falls in it pushes out and so then the cables would just swing out to the wall of the bin and not give us an accurate reading of what the center of the bin is like so i'm farmering it with baling twine and we're going to anchor them down i've already got one piece of twine on that one and i just need a nut driver and we can just set screw these eyelets that they have sent with them and everything and get it to where it needs to be. That one's going to be a little tricky because that is slick enough I can't stand on it. If I can get a hold of it and move it enough I think I can get to where I can tie the string on it. So we'll see how that goes. trucking today and I'm gonna show you guys why we bought this Redondo extender. It is awesome for the Super Bees. Drive right past here, pick my uh, tail up there a little bit and we'll go back where we need it and drop it down. I'll shut my hydraulics off because they are noisy. It makes the tractor oil real hot.
It works awesome. I'll move to the other hopper. Let's go cut some barley. And yes, the air conditioner still does not work in this truck. Maybe I should sell it. If you watched a video or two ago or four ago, I made a joke about selling this white pea. Yeah, that was a joke. that easy with the Redondo extender. The barley is all done and we are just motoring through the cut across road back to the main yard. Cutting around home now. So, combines are ahead of me in the grain cart. Headers off. Throw it back and grab headers. But uh, yeah. Check off barley off the list for winter wheat. Barley almost half the spring wheat. Peas, mustard, done. Spring wheat at home, Durham up north, canola further up north. And that's it for the year. Oh yeah, corn. We'll see what happens with the corn. It might have funny silage in. We'll see what it does. It needs to rain real bad. I don't think it's gonna get it. I can grab this gate for you. There's an air leak down there. I heard a rock hit the cross member, and then I heard hissing. Almost to the shop though, I think we're gonna make it. Well, it is something key related. I wonder what it is. Cause I just quit. <laughs> Well, there's your problem. It ain't got no air in it. Remember when I said, this truck needs a new exhaust? This is what gravel does to our trucks. I'm not really sure why we have nice trucks. There's a bunch of gravel roads that we drive on. We should have a fleet of 85 Freightliners with M11s in them, but we don't. Cause that wouldn't be any fun to drive. Sorry if you want a Freightliner. I've had some, we've had some too. I know how you feel. All right, let's see if we've got, oh yeah, that'll do. All right, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Easy outs. Uh, whammer. And a pipe wrench. And some Teflon tape. Oh. Combine's home. Oh, I'm gonna put you guys here for a second. And there we go. Hope I got one that's the right size. Right row. Only last option. Oh, beautiful. Oh, 
all those wrenches and I didn't grab the right size, I bet. Nope. But I did grab this one. I know, I know, this is not how you're supposed to use a pipe wrench. Here it is today. See that sweet move though? Here it is today. That was not a good move though. Thanks for watching, but don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. See you next video.